vision is god given when we talk about vision um people are enthusiastic and they want to find a vision for their lives uh, but a real vision and a true vision is god given god can communicate our life vision to us and that's the direction in which we've got to move uh, if we don't hear from god then you know we 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 can do all kinds of things but we may not be walking in the vision that god has purposed for us so we've got to ask god uh, to tell us what it is that he has in mind for us the classic example would be that of abraham abraham Uh, is someone that god spoke to uh, in genesis chapter 12 god speaks to him and he calls him out of his country so i'm going to read a couple of verses genesis 12 verses 1 to 3 where god uh, says get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that i will show you and here's the vision for abraham god says i will make you a great nation i will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing i will bless those who bless you and i will curse him who curses you and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed the key here is that god is giving the vision of abraham's life to him so abraham realizes that he has to live a life in such a way that his descendants are going to be a people who will be god's people uh, as god said in verse 2 in genesis 12 i will make you a great nation i will make you a great nation so abraham knew that this is what god had intended for him god had intended to bless him and to bless his descendants and to make great nation out of them uh, and, and today as we want a vision for our lives the best way to get it is to ask god a uh, true vision is god given god gives life vision uh, and god also gives life assignments so in the case of david uh, we find that david did several things in his life he was a shepherd boy initially and then we uh, understand that you know he became a great king he's also a musician and a worshipper so there were several things that david was doing uh, in his life and god gave him assignments from time to time there were different battles that he was fighting uh, there, there there were things that he was accomplishing one other life assignment that god gave uh, david was to build the temple and it's beautiful because david was not an architect but god still gave him the plan so god handed him an assignment and and david knew uh, you know that that short term thing that he needed to do which was to build the temple so in this manner god is a god of plan and god is a god of vision and god communicates life vision to people god communicates life assignments to people uh, and as we think about our own lives we can ask him god what is, what is it that you want me to live for why have you created me these are the questions we we um, keep asking god and he is the right person to speak to and he is able to tell us what he wants for us to do in our lives and shall we just pray together uh, and ask god to make this clear to our hearts heavenly father we thank you that lord you have created us oh god father you made us fearfully oh god you made us wonderfully and god we give you praise for that god uh, i pray that uh, each one of us will discover the life vision Uh, that you have for us so oh god father we we also ask father for the the understanding of our life assignments god lord may we step into those assignments may we lord uh, spend focused energy god on those assignments and god we pray that lord we will be able to contribute father god significantly father to your kingdom and for the glory of your name god strengthen us oh god strengthen us equip us and lead us oh god in this direction we bless you we honor you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.